What's up bros? The shoutouts are no longer only at the end of the video, but all over the video. So if you're looking for your shoutout, good luck. The first shoutout goes to Crunchy AF. What's up guys? Today we are going to be doing a Nerf blasting Lego gun arsenal. So basically we've done many videos where we've had these Lego blasters. They're not real Legos, but they're similar to Legos and you build them into guns and a lot of them fire Nerf darts or darts similar to Nerf darts. So we're just going to be doing our arsenal of them. Now first we're going to start with some new guns that um, most of you probably haven't seen yet. Okay, first here we have the AK-47. Now this is actually one that doesn't fire. Although it has a lot of cool moving parts. Um, it's fun to build and it looks cool. We have a moving charging handle on the right side of the gun here. Magazine can be removed from the gun and inserted back in. We have a working trigger. It looks similar to an AK-47, a little bit smaller, but besides that it looks pretty similar and then besides the color, obviously. And then we have a safety on the side. You can pull this lever all the way up to put it on safe and down to pull it on fire. The next shout out goes to Jeffrey Bertoni. The next shout out goes to Jai Bruton. The next shout out goes to Riyad Hendricks. Next up we have the police assault rifle. Now this looks very similar to an MP5. Um, and this is also one that doesn't shoot, but it has a lot of cool features. A working magazine release here. The magazine can be pulled out and inserted back into the gun. Trigger here. Charging handle on the front left side of the gun, just like the real MP5. There's a stock which actually can ex be extended. And on the right side of the gun, there's a little pin I can pull out. And hopefully, should be able to extend the stock by doing that. There we go. With the pin pulled out, I can extend the stock and put the pin back in. Like this. There we go. Now we have an extended, extended stock. Also, there's a rear iron sight here, which can flip up and down. The next shout out goes to John Cedric Lubau Official. The next shout out goes to Jordan Lopez. The next shout out goes to Dan Plays Games. Next up, we have the M1 United States Rifle 30 caliber. This is one that does shoot Nerf darts. It's a bolt action. You lift the bolt here. Cock it back, insert a dart into the chamber, and I don't have a dart with, oh, actually I do. I uh, put the dart right in the chamber, and then push it forward, and fire when you pull the trigger, the gun should fire. There we go. The next shout out goes to Destroy Cobble 5000. The next shout out goes to Ethan Thompson. The next shout out goes to Cubic Airsoft. Next up we have the Winchester 1887. In real life this is a sawed off uh, lever action shotgun. Um, however, this gun simply shoots nerf darts and it works with a similar system the previous gun did, but what you do is instead of using a bolt to cock the gun, you use uh, a lever down here and then you open the cha chamber, load dart in, close it and fire. All right the chamber and then fire there we go the next shout out goes to JC TV the next shout out goes to big boy chuggas the next shout out goes to master yodeler next up we have another AK except this one is bigger and has a more realistic color scheme with the wood and the black and this one doesn't shoot darts, it just has cool features like a moving trigger, a scope, sling, removable magazine with a magazine release that can be inserted back into the gun. And it looks cool. The next shout out goes to Rags. The next shout out goes to Jake Swartz. The next shout out goes to Christopher Reyes. Next up, we have the K98K or the Car 98K. This one is my personal favorite one because I really like the real Car 98K, Car 98K, and this one is similar to it. It's their Lego version of it. It uses the same mechanism as the U.S. rifle does, although it's a little bit different. It's a little bit longer and it has a more realistic color scheme. Basically, you pull the bolt back, insert a dart, 
push the bolt forward and then you can fire. So we just open the chamber, uh, push the bolt forward, and then we should be able to fire. There we go. The next shout out goes to Tak Riddo. The next shout out goes to Brux Kinshin. The next shout out goes to Vasilij Vegic. Next up, we have the M4A1. And uh, now this is another gun that doesn't shoot, but it has a lot of cool features again. Uh, this one, similar to the MP5, has an adjustable stock with multiple positions you can adjust it to. Anyway, we have a rear iron sight back here. Trigger that moves with a safety selector, I think. Or no, it's one of those things. Um, a bunch of cool details on here, like how they added the forward assist, selector switch. They even added a dust cover that opens and closes. Magazine is also remove, can be removable. This one doesn't have a magazine release like the other ones, although you can just simply pull it out and then put it back in. Again, this is the M4A1 carbine. The next shout out goes to JJ Lewis. The next shout out goes to Cray202. The next shout out goes to Denzel Amaya. Next, we have a revolver. Now, this looks like a six shooter revolver. It's got a, it's gray with a brown handle. And as you pull the trigger, you can notice the hammer goes back and the cylinder spins. So some cool details. And you can also load a little plastic bullet up in the front, which will fire after pulling the trigger. You can see the little red bullet. You can put it in and then you can fire. Boom. The next shout out goes to Mega Liam Studios. The next shout out goes to Charlotte Chen. The next shout out goes to Ethan Thompson. Next up we have the Desert Falcon. Basically it's a Desert Eagle with a different name. And when you pull the trigger, the slide seems to come back and angle down like that. And then you can release it like that. Uh, there is a magazine in the bottom which holds extra rounds that you can shoot. It shoots the same rounds as the revolver. The bullet can be loaded in the front. Okay, there we go. The next shout out goes to Braden Inn. The next shout out goes to Tomas Paul. The next shout out goes to Bros777. Next, actually last, we have the Uzi. This one also fires the same type of bullets, although it has more details and is bigger than the previous two. Charging handle up top, front and rear iron sights, uh, little knobs you can adjust the sights with, or little uh, fake knobs right there. Magazine can also be removed, which stores lots of ammo. And it looks like a micro Uzi. There is also a working safety. You push the lever down and it will not fire. But when you push it up, it will. The next shout out goes to Giovanni Lopez. The next shout out goes to Drake St. Germain. The next shout out goes to Gas Man. We interrupt this video with some breaking news from Umarex. Umarex has just released the Air Saber. The Air Saber is a gun that shoots arrows with air. It can shoot 378 grain arrows up to 450 FPS and 165 FPE. The internal tank pressurizes up to 3625 PSI, which is 250 bar. It's bolt action, you can shoot targets or hunt big game animals with it, and it comes with three arrows and a scope. The next shout out goes to Nisal Minerapitia. All right guys, it's shout out time. The next shout out goes to Kickstart TV. The next shout out goes to Da Police 45. The next shout out goes to Ivan Escalante. The next shout out goes to Zimiao Ming. The next shout out goes to Usman Wahid. The next shout out goes to Master Chief Productions. The next shout out goes to Eric Tucker. The next shout out goes to American Angler. The next shout out goes to Venom Venom 08 Gang. 
The next shout out goes to Pat's Fan 12873. The next shout out goes to Arctic Cat. The next shout out goes to Andrew Talpas. The next shout out goes to Ramiro Castaneda. The next shout out goes to Peyton Martin. The next shout out goes to STN Fishing. The next shout out goes to Library Shoes. The next shout out goes to The Great White Dart. The next shout out goes to Greddy Gaming TV. The next shout out goes to Seth Jimenez. The next shout out goes to Gij Van Amstel. The next shout out goes to Brandon Sternthal. The next shout out goes to Elite Shepherd. The next shout out goes to Golden Mantine. The next shout out goes to Epic Nerf 14. Bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want a shout out. So that was our arsenal of Kata block guns. Kata is a company um, that makes Lego type guns that shoot Nerf darts, if you don't know. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Be happy. Peace out.